got a ton of snow yesterday. As you can see, it's about a foot high. And uh, Jason's been uh, trying to control some of the snow here so we can get out over to the greenhouse. So we got lots of plants in there that need to get watered about every other day. But it's such a beautiful morning today. Such a gorgeous morning, but he's moving the snow. So he's been just kind of piling buckets along the edge of the driveway. My dad always helps us out and comes over and plows for us and we're so grateful. And then he lets us borrow the skid to kind of move some stuff around if the piles are in the way or just for our back driveway too. Here's Jason this morning. <laughs> now he's working, I gotta move. He wants me to move here. Well, those shrubs are definitely getting coverage. <laughs> this is the uh, the berm that we created this year and planted with all of the beautiful perennials from Walter's Gardens. And then we also added the arborvitae trees and um, they're definitely getting snow covered, which is really good. That helps protect them in these cold weather or these cold temperatures right now. Right now it's about um, in the teens. I don't think we'll be shoveling little paths over here. We're just gonna let nature take its course over by the kids area. Cause when they come out to play in the snow, they'll love just running through it anyway. And we're just gonna hop into the greenhouse and see what's going on. And I wanna also show you how deep the snow is through here. And our beds are two feet high, so the snow in here hits about hits about a foot high. So it's pretty deep. This is the most snow that we've we've had this year. And the kids actually had school canceled, so they had a little snow day. But now we gotta go check check our little plants. Well the latch is frozen. Ugh, here we go. See if we can get oh, it's all frozen down at the bottom. So Jason's gonna have to uh, pick that for me. Never mind, all it took was a little extra muscle. All right, so here we are in the greenhouse. A big difference from what's going on outside right now, and the heater's about to kick on. Here's our uh, our heater in the greenhouse keeps it nice and warm and then we keep it on a thermostat over here so in here right now we keep it at around 64 degrees and if it gets really sunny today like the Sun's already popping up then it automatically heats up in here on its own surprisingly and then the heater doesn't hardly kick on on sunny days or at all and that's when we got to put the fan on it does get really humid in here. I know in the last video I said it was getting dry, but that was my mistake because I was keeping the fan on 24 seven when you should really turn it off at the end of the day and let the moisture sit back in. On cloudy days, I keep the fan off. It helps keep the humidity in here. And that's how else I've also started to be able to control those spider mites. Um, the spider mites are actually all gone now. We use the organic Monterey, which I show in other videos if you want to take a look back. Um, but here we go. Here we go. We've got our uh, little succulent table here with our birch log container with the succulents. They always go through their little winter turning time, but um, they're also probably just had it in this little birch log that Jason made for me. And it was just a log that we had, and um, we also show that in another video. So if you wanted to take a look back in the gardening playlist, you can go ahead. Look at that beautiful sun peeking through. So gorgeous. Make it way for me. <laughs> Just gonna make a path out to the snow hill so that way the ranger can make it through. Over here, we've got a fertilizer injector and this helps us just run the fertilizer through the hose. And we just put the fertilizer in there and mix it. And it's got this little thing on the end that soaks it up. 
runs it through the injector. This hose here is connected to the hose bib. So the water and the fertilizer are running right through here and into the hose for watering. So that way when we want to have the fertilizer running, we keep it on. And when we don't, we just turn it off. And that we got at uh, Grower Supply online. They have all kinds of great things for gardening and greenhousing and all kinds of stuff. And this here is the Monterey spray I was talking about. So we mix that in water along with some soap because the soap helps hold it onto the leaves. And then I also add in a little bit of neem oil into the mixture as well. So I mix all three of these and I do have videos on how I mix it and how I apply it. So if you want to check those out in the gardening playlist, you're welcome to do so. And since the sun's out, we're going to we're going to get the fan plugged in. We're gonna get the air moving around in here nice. The fan also helps so that way things aren't just sitting there in wet soil if they've just been watered. You want the air to keep circulating in your greenhouse. That way with the air circulation, it helps things dry out more too, which is actually really good. I know we're like, well, we want it to stay wet so we don't have to water it as often, but it's actually extremely helpful to have things dry out more often and be watered because if they're sitting in water all the time they're not going to do very well and you're going to also then end up with a lot of gnats gnats are really drawn to to wet soils that stay wet for a long time and we haven't had any problems with gnats well it seems good in here now so i'm going to head back out to the winter weather look at those beautiful clouds oh my gosh Time to go in. Lana's at school. Sayla has PM 4K, so she's still at home sleeping. She sleeps in every day. It's still pretty early though, so let's go check on her. Yep, her door is closed, so Sayla is still sleeping, which means I get to go upstairs, stretch, meditate, and work out. I always love this view from the window up here in the turret. It's always so pretty. One of my little favorite spots to sit. This is where all the, the fun and craziness happens. As you can see, we've been playing up here. They've got the bounce house, all their gymnastics stuff. This is where the fitness takes place. <laughs> There's no fitness happening for me much. This is actually gonna be my only second time getting on the treadmill so far. So um, I'm gonna just walk. I don't run because I got bad knees. And then I'm just gonna sit in that little chair there, do a quick little meditation and get on with my day. And I always love the view from up here looking down. I know we don't ever really show you guys this. It's dirty because we just had a little morning time but whatever and i always keep some winter greens up and on that branch we're going to be adding little hearts for valentine's day plants down there here they are you can see my big my big drum right here <laughs> yep so pretty soon it'll become the little seating center well, Jason's outside putting snow on the hill so the kids can go sledding later. So yesterday we did get a lot of snow, but it was blowing everywhere. So hilltops are actually bare. So that's what he's doing. He's just gathering snow, um, pretty much grooming the hill so the kids can go sledding. I know you guys have seen most of my morning routine, but 
My morning routine really starts with Lana in the morning because um, she goes early to school. So I'm up getting her ready, getting her breakfast ready. So I'm just doing cleanup right now. And then to finish off my morning routine, I do my greens. I've got my chia seed and I do a really nice uh, smoothie to kickstart my day and then I'm gonna go get ready. I haven't gotten ready yet today. I do all this before I actually get ready. It's only eight right now. Well, look who woke up. <laughs> That's when the day truly gets started is when Selah gets up. <laughs> Aw. Jason got done with the hill. Yep, spent about an hour out there. I, I probably brought like 10 to 15 bucket loads of snow up there and then I smoothed it all down so there's a nice a nice base on it because a lot of the snow blew off yesterday. So I know, I know, I told them. Well, <laughs> this be, lady has a green dog. What? This lady has three dogs. Three oh. dogs? Well you got three pets. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's <laughs> it for morning routine. I gotta go get ready. So get that little one. Little in the tub. School. Get her in the tub. <laughs> tub time. <laughs> tub time, Sayla. Tub time. Yep, that's right.